Hello guys, I hope you're all doing okay. Welcome back to the pregnancy updates. This is week eight. Um, please excuse me, I'm a little bit out of breath. I've just run down the stairs. <laughs> And um, I don't know about you guys, but during pregnancy, I'm just constantly out of breath. Um, like I said, I'm eight weeks pregnant. I think I'm eight weeks and four days today. Um, so yeah, halfway through my eighth week. And it's been yet another uh, challenging one, I think. It's like in the middle of like autumn, winter. It's um, the end of November at the moment. And, um, well, middle of November, I think, actually and um yeah it's like that cold and flu season i'm feeling a bit like under the weather generally um and i definitely feel like i'm not bouncing back as quick as i normally would um if i wasn't pregnant so yeah i'm struggling a little bit of that i also had a really really rough day yesterday morning sickness wise like i say morning sickness why do they call it morning sickness um like all day long i was just being sick like constantly um and nothing that i did that i would that normally help like so eating ginger nuts or crumpets or like little mini cheddars every single thing made me sick water made me sick like it was just like it was just relentless um i had to take the day off work which is the first time i've had to do that um this pregnancy and yeah i kind of just felt like it was really beating me um so yeah, that wasn't fun. Um, so as yesterday was like a really hard day and I spent most of it in bed. No, actually all of it in bed, literally. I dropped George off at nursery, which I'm so glad that I was able to do. Um, but I dropped him off at nursery and then crawled back into bed and didn't leave bed until like half past four. Um, so yeah, but as it was a bad day, I um, I did a little thing. I ordered something online. I'm feeling loads better today, by the way. Um, loads better. I haven't been sick today. I feel I feel like nauseous, um, and there's that always that nausea like in the background. But I haven't actually been sick today. I've managed to eat a little bit. I've had two crumpets. Had a crumpet in the morning, crumpet in the afternoon. Um, like for lunch, basically, crumpets and jam is like my savior at the moment. It's so strange, um, and like I have been drinking water and stuff, but. I definitely feel dehydrated like my lips are all like crusty and not very nice but I did do a thing so as yesterday was a bad day it was um I was like down in the dumps and stuff feeling sorry for myself um and these ads keep coming up on my Instagram because they obviously know I'm pregnant for the sneak peek gender test um so I ordered it I ordered it because it was on sale for like £59 or something, which is quite a lot of money, I know. But, um, yeah, I was, I, I, I just ordered it. Um, I didn't even know it was a thing before. So if you don't know what the sneak peek gender test is, it is here. Um, it is basically a test that you can find out the gender of your baby from six weeks, which I didn't know was a thing. It's basically a little blood test. Um, I've got all of my instructions yeah um i'm gonna do it uh i'm gonna find out the gender of our baby this soon this early because yeah why not why not i would pay this amount um, i would pay this amount of money to find out at 16 weeks with a private scan anyway and that's what i did with george last time this is like just eight weeks earlier than i found out with george um so i'm gonna find out and you know what i'm not even I don't even care because this will mean I, I I will know I'll have that that like more visual idea of what's happening um like in you know a few months time when this baby comes I'll know then if it's a baby girl or if a baby boy we can start talking about names properly um and all that kind of stuff so I am I'm just yeah I just want to find out I can go through like George's clothes to know whether we're going to be reusing them or if I've got to pick out the gender neutral things um yeah and we can like even think about the nursery and all that kind of stuff. So I'm I'm excited. I want to do it. Um, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it like here with you. So basically, I have I have read all the instructions and everything. I've washed my hands, super clean. I've drank lots of water and everything. Basically, you've got to register your test. Um, obviously, you've got to make sure that you wash your hands, sanitize everything, etc., etc. And then essentially, you do a little blub blood prick um on your like a blood test prick on your finger and then you send it off basically um and take it to the post office 
And then they tell you what your results are. Um, it, I can't remember how long they said it would take. I expect under a week. Um, so maybe in next week's update I'll know. I don't know when I'll know. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to be telling you guys either. I don't know. I just don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And it is something that is going to make me feel a lot better about the last couple of weeks, which have been pretty hard. Um, like yesterday, I cannot tell you how difficult that was. It was just, I just felt awful. Oh. George is also not sleeping at the moment. And it's, and obviously during the week when it's just me and George, it's quite tricky for me to like, when I'm feeling that sick, for me to be on demand for him L luckily he goes to nursery in the day and yeah that's a little bit of respite for me but in the night in the evenings and the and the night times like it's just so hard especially where he's not sleeping properly um yeah bless him he he doesn't know obviously that our mummy's feeling sick so he comes up to me and like is really angry with me that I'm not doing something for him so um I do feel uh, a little bit bad about that so anyway this is gonna make me feel better. It's what I wanna do. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm just about to do it. I've never done a blood test on myself before. I'm actually a little bit scared. I'm just cleaning my finger that I'm gonna take it from. I'm not gonna show you blood or anything, so don't worry. I'm just doing this for moral support. <laughs> press, press firmly against your finger and apply a large amount of pressure until you hear the click. Ooh. Okay, like I say, I'm not gonna show blood or anything, so don't worry. I'll just do this and then once it's all boxed up, I will let you go. I'm scared. I'm actually really scared. <laughs> Ooh. This might take a while. <laughs> Okay, so I've just done my test. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit more fiddly than I expected. Um, I had to do two finger pricks um, just because I, I don't know, I'm just clearly not a very like blood pumpy person because uh, yeah, not much was coming out of the first one, but the second one worked brilliantly. So um, yeah, a bit of a weird one, but I think, um, yeah, it's exciting. So it seems like it will take two business days for this to get there. And then eight hours after they receive it, they will, send my results via email so yeah wow that's gonna be really really soon so by the time i'm nine weeks i'll know if i am having a baby boy or a baby girl very exciting um yeah there we go i i'm glad i did that i'm really glad i did that hopefully it comes back and i haven't messed the test up or anything that's the only thing obviously like i'm not sure like but because it's an at-home test like the reliability of it and everything because I'm doing it myself and I'm obviously not a medical professional, but I have done my fair share of COVID tests at home. So I do like sort of know the process of like making sure that things aren't contaminated and stuff, um, as I'm sure we all do by this point. So um, yeah, hopefully we will find out really, really soon. What do you guys think? Put your guesses down in the comments. I'd love to know um, what everyone reckons. Uh, I feel just as bad as I did with George, but a lot of people say that sickness and stuff is a sign of a girl. But like I said, I was really sick with George, so I don't know how much I read into those things. Um, but yeah, we'll find out soon. But yeah, other than that, I really don't have much else to update you on um, during this week eight of pregnancy. Same old, same old, first trimester woes. I'm not loving it at all. Yesterday was crap. Today is better, um, it's still rubbish, like, um, yeah, I just forgot, I forgot how crap these first few weeks are, like, between six weeks and eight weeks is definitely the worst so far, but with George it was like six weeks to twelve weeks, it was like hell, um, so, yeah, I'm not loving it, but, um, yeah, we're almost there. It's okay, this has given me something to look forward to, to find out the gender. I can't believe I'm doing this so early. Um, let me know if you've used Sneak Peek before or if you've ever heard of it or anything, because I hadn't heard of it until literally my Instagram recommended it to me. So, very intrigued to see whether it works or not. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the eight week update here, guys. Very exciting, and I'll see you in the nine week update. Bye. Cause you Glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my
sweet baby